Hello, this is Vituals the Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. So today's video is a bit different. I'm going to be doing a review of the Chess Nut Air e chessboard uh, that connects uh, to a variety of sites, including chess.com and Lee Chess. I recently uh, bought it and ordered it with my own money. This is not sponsored uh, by the manufacturer. And so these are actually my thoughts, and I'm actually using this device at the moment to play my online games. Please enjoy. So the board comes with pieces in uh, a brown color and also a off-white color. Uh, the pieces, uh, they, do, they look quite nice, uh, to be honest. They are made from plastic, uh, so they don't weigh very much. Uh, they are quite light. Uh, however, they're probably within what you would expect uh, for, plastic, uh, for plastic pieces. And when I sort of uh, measured sort of the size of the king, uh, it's about 2.6 inches, and in comparison, this is a tournament size king at uh, 3.7, 3.75 inch. And so you can see it is quite a bit smaller. Uh, it sort of fits within, I think, the size of a, like an analysis type board. Uh, the board itself is just under one foot in width. Uh, the edges of the board obviously increases with slightly, uh, made from a wooden rim, quite nice. Each of the squares are uh, about uh, 3.5 centimeters or just under 1.5 inch in width. So quite okay um, for its intended purposes, a purpose which is to play uh, online rather than necessarily play over the board with another person. This is a close-up of the pieces. Uh, they do look quite nice, really. Um, perhaps a little bit generic in their design. Turning on the board is by holding down the on button for about three seconds. And there we go. And the flashing green light means it's on. The flashing blue light means it's waiting to connect uh, by Bluetooth to a device. Now to connect the board to the app, uh, you need to load the Chestnut app uh, and you do need to manually connect it uh, to Bluetooth. So this is an old Samsung Galaxy S8. And there we go, it's connected. And once it's connected, it shows sort of the battery life, um, some firmware, um, firmware additions, some other settings. Uh, but now we can go back and, and to play a game, um, uh, click online. So I'm mostly interested in not playing against the computer that in the Chestnut app. I really don't care so much about that, but potentially with my account, either Lee Chess or Chess.com. Uh, Chess.com, which is where I do most of my play. And uh, I've already logged in once before, and so sort of the app knows that I usually play 30 minute rapid. So that's the default. Uh, and if I um, if I sort of uh, click play, it will now connect to a random opponent. Now, one of the very interesting things here is because it actually loads up the web version or works with the web version of chess.com, I can actually use all the other features of chess.com. So let's say I wanted to play one of the bots on chess.com. Play, computer, uh, ooh, who will I choose? Let's say Karim, okay. Uh, you know, Karim usually plays a, a dodgy opening, the uh, the uh, the Duras Gambit. So, and this is how it basically works. So, very very nicely, very quickly detects, uh, and you can see the lights. So, uh, for the opponent, all you have to do is move it for them. Capture. Uh, they, oops, develop a knight, and you can see. If I sort of lift up the piece, that's fine. It just notes that there's a missing piece. I'll put it back, and you know it doesn't uh, doesn't freak out the doesn't freak out the board or anything like that. Uh, ooh, what should I do now? So, what if I develop the bishop? Check. In, out of the way, you know, and you know this is you know, one of these funny things with the um, with this particular bot. You know, it plays a sort of fairly unusual uh, unusual move. 
There we are. I think he's actually playing okay in this game. <laughs> oh dear, what should I do? Usually Karim just blunders something. Obviously I've got to move my queen, don't I? And yeah, so and you and so you get the idea here. And the interesting thing is that you can play the bot with no fuss, no special setup. Uh, and this is a really, really good aspect of this board. Now I won't necessarily continue the game. Um, this uh, I, I really, really like this board, and I've started playing uh, Chess.com using the board rather than just uh, on the browser now. Works very well, fairly inexpensive. Um, when I bought it, um, it got delivered to Sydney, Australia in about 10 days. So that was very, very good to see. I uh, got a few accessories as well. So these, uh, these pouches and also a, a carry bag and, a, uh, and also a, a, a holder so where I can put my phone. Uh, and all together, it really wasn't that expensive, and this works very, very well. So at the time of the recording, the Chestnut Air costs about $200 uh, US dollars. Uh, instead of in Australian dollars, that's about $320. Uh, and that's approximately how much I paid for it. Um, now, to find the site, just Google Chestnut Air. Um, that's probably easier than necessary to provide a link itself. Uh, I did buy, as I mentioned, the carry case, the pouches and the phone stand. Uh, we've sort of had a look at the uh, at the board already. The bag is quite nice. You know, it's not the cheapest item, uh, but it is sort of designed to hold the hold the board uh, quite well. There's an elasticated strap inside, it holds inside uh, inside a padded compartment so it doesn't move. It's pretty good. Um, this compartment here holds the uh, holds the phone stand and this compartment holds the chest pieces inside the pouches. So similarly, you know, it's not the cheapest thing, you know, in terms of the pouches and the phone stand. You could probably get sort of pouches elsewhere. These are sort of, um, sort of felt flannel, I think, uh, pouches, but they feel quite nice. They're quite soft, so they won't damage the pieces. Uh, this phone stand, you would think that it's a completely unnecessary thing, and, and maybe it is. I would say it is a very, very well, probably over-engineered uh, piece of uh, design, actually. These hinges are really quite stiff, so you could put something quite heavy on it, like a heavy phone, or maybe even something like an iPad, and it, and it won't move. It's actually very, very well designed. These gaps here allow you to potentially pass through a charging cable around the bottom. It's actually pretty good, but probably unnecessary however you know if you're going to be buying buying a thing you know certainly consider it because there is a nice space in the carry bag to hold it my overall impression i think this item is a win i would probably characterize experience as largely flawless but without very many frills both the device itself the app the software They've, they've really nailed the key functionality, but you know, it's not terribly pretty. It doesn't hold your hand uh, in terms of what you need to do. Uh, and it doesn't have a lot of features, but what it does do are the features you want, you know, being able to play online with minimum problems with, with other uh, online opponents, maybe use some of the, uh, uh, some of the bots on, on chess.com. It does this very, very well. Uh, no frills. I think the you know the manufacturer probably worked out what their minimum viable product was, and then created a product just one step above that. So very few bugs, but not very many frills either. In my view, I think they made a product that's a that's a win. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.